Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're working on number 20 on the new General Curriculum 03 Math Practice Test. This is the math subtest for the General Curriculum and this is the new one from 2016. Now I'm going to start by reading over this problem. We're going to work through some of the math concepts and solve it together, okay? Let's start. Always starting by reading it over. Number 20 it says, Use the calculation below to answer the question that follows. It gives us this helpful information. It says that 1 times 45 is equal to 45, 2 times 45 is equal to 90, 4 times 45 is equal to 180, 8 times 45 is equal to 360. Since 13 is equal to 8 plus 4 plus 1, then 13 times 45 is equal to 360 plus 180, plus 45, which all adds up to 585. The strategy above is based on which of the following properties of real numbers. And we have some of our real number properties here involving it. Uh, real property identities, the commutative property, the reflective property, the distributive property. Now, these are all very, very important ideas, all right? Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to focus in on one of them. And we're going to uh, see how it applies to this one. Then I'm going to touch upon these others real quick. Okay, let's first start with this math problem. We're trying to multiply these two numbers out. So I'm going to rewrite them. 13 times 45. And it, it gives us, uh, it tells us something about 13. It says, yeah, hey, guess what? 13 can be broken down like this. So we could rewrite 13 as 13 is also 8 plus 4 plus 1, and that all equals 13. So this quantity here times 45, it's going to equal the same thing. Because whether we do 13 times 45 or add up all these values to get to 13 and times 45, it's still going to get the same product. Now we, we're at this form right here. Now the rule we're going to use is the distributive rule. And I'm going to just review what, what you maybe remember from, from school or, or sometime long ago. Maybe you saw the distributive rule like this. A times the quantity of B plus C is equal to the product of A times B plus the product of A times C. Does that look, look about right? And, and what this one is doing, it's doing the same thing. It's just doing a slightly different variation. It's doing this one. A times three terms. We'll call that B, C, and D. In this case right here, it's going to work out the same thing. It's always A times this plus the quantity of A times this plus the quantity of A times that. Now it works out the same. So in this problem right here, this 45 is actually our A term. And it's going to be multiplied, it's, we're going to multiply it by the 8 first and do 8 times 45 plus 45 times 4, that's 4 times 45 plus, last one, 1 times 45 or 1 times 45. And that's all going to get us the same product. We use our chart here, this one here, 8 times 45 is 360. 4 times 45 is 180, 1 times 45 is 45, and we're adding them all up, and it gets us a product of the 585. So we just used a variation of the distributive property with three terms in the parentheses, but the math works the same. I'm hoping you're feeling that one because this is a really important one. You not only want to know the core rule, but you want to see also how it can be finessed a little bit and, and maybe they add on a, a, um, an element or two, but it's still the same rule. Very, very important stuff. So in this one right here, the answer to number 20 is D. Now, let's really quickly uh, look at some of these other ones. We have identities here. Uh, and then we have the commutative property and the reflective property. Uh, so let's look at these. Uh, first, uh, let's go to a sheet of these properties. Commutative. It works whenever we have two terms. So whenever you think of commutative, think of two terms. And it says this. Commutative property says that addition of those two terms 
or multiplication of those two terms is always going to get you the same answer. So you can add a plus b or b plus a, that's going to get you c, or you can multiply a times b or b times a, and that's going to get you c. So it, it's for two terms involving addition and multiplication getting you the same answer. Think of you're commuting in a car and there's two people in the car. The associative property, I know it's not one of the ones on the sheet, but this is also a very important one. Think of associative, like a condo association, it kind of kind of reminds uh, you of this maybe, I don't know, I don't know. Associative property is more than two, so we're going to say three terms, and it says that the order in which you add those terms or multiply those terms, it's not going to make a difference. You're still going to get the same answer. So whether you add A plus B, then add C to get D, or A plus the quantity of B plus C, it's still going to get you the same answer. And it works the same way for multiplication as well. A times B is equal to times C is equal to D, or A times the quantity of B times C is equal to D. Same thing. We just did the distributive property. That's this one right here. It should look familiar. And when we were doing it, you remember, this is only uses uh, two terms in the parentheses. We had three. It would just be adding that last uh, plus there, a plus the quantity of d. But that's the same just here with distributive. It happens in all the exams, elementary, middle school, and high school. So learn it, team. Memorize it. And the last, and another one we, that was on that sheet was the identities. Now there's two big ones. The additive identity says that whenever you add zero to a quantity, you get the same number. So anything plus zero is that same number. And the multiplicative identity, well, that's, that's even better. It says anytime you take a number and multiply it by one, you get that same number. The reflective property, that's the last one, involves uh, two congruent parts on, uh, in geometry. So uh, whenever you think of the reflective property, if you ever want to make a point that two quantities are equal, uh, you would use that rule. I don't have a slide for that right now, so I'm going to skip it. Team, memorize this sheet. Memorize these properties, commutative, associative, distributive, and the additive and multiplicative identities. Yay? Yay. All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. The answer here is D. Have a great day. Stay tuned for more. Check out an upcoming workshop this school year. Take care, team. Bye-bye. Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. This year we're holding workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check them out. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, and a couple other states. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.